Thank you for joining us again. Michael, KC9PHK, here on behalf of the Clay County Area Amateur Radio Club, presenting the 2020 to 2024 Extra Class Question Pool. This is your first time joining us. You'll want to understand that I'm just reading the questions and the correct answers. I'm not providing A, B, C, or D, as it's possible for the answers to be switched around depending on the test and the VEC who administers the test. Alright, first off we'll go to sub-element E2 on this video which covers operating procedures. Five exam questions come from the five groups here. First off, E2A, amateur radio in space, amateur satellites, orbital mechanics, frequencies and modes, satellite hardware, and satellite operations. E2A01 says what is the direction of an ascending pass for an amateur satellite? Answer is from south to north. E2A02, which of the following occurs when a satellite is using an inverting linear transponder? Answer is all of these choices are correct. So here I'm going to read them all. Doppler shift is reduced because the uplink and downlink shifts are in opposite directions. Signal position in the band is reversed, and upper sideband on the uplink becomes lower sideband on the downlink, and vice versa. E2A03. How is signal inverted by an inverting linear transponder? Answer is the signal is passed through a mixer and then the difference rather than the sum is transmitted. E2A04, what is meant by the term mode as applied to an amateur radio satellite? Answer is the satellite's uplink and downlink frequency bands. E2A05, what do letters in the satellite's mode designator specify? And they specify the uplink and downlink frequency ranges. E5A06, what are Keplerian elements? Answer is parameters that define the orbit of a satellite. E2A07, which of the following types of signals can be relayed through a linear transponder? Answer here is all of the choices are correct. So FM and CW, SSB and SSTV, as well as PSK and packet. E2A08, why should effective radiated power to a satellite that uses a linear transponder be limited? Answer is to avoid reducing the downlink power to all other users. E2A09, what do the terms L-band and S-band specify regarding satellite communications? The 23 centimeter and 13 centimeter bands. E2A10, what type of satellite appears to stay in one position in the sky? That would be geostationary. E2A11, what type of antenna can be used to minimize the effects of spin modulation and Faraday rotation? The answer here is a circularly per polarized antenna. E2A12, what is the purpose of digital store and forward functions on an amateur radio satellite? The answer, to store digital messages in the satellite for later download by other stations. E2A13, which of the following techniques is usually used by low Earth orbiting digital satellites to relay messages around the world? The answer is store and forward. E2B covers television practices, as well as fast scan television standards and techniques and slow scan television standards and techniques. E2B01, how many times per second is a new frame transmitted in fast scan NTSC television system? Answer here is 30, 30 times. E2B02, how many horizontal lines make up a fast scan NTSC television frame? Answer is 525. E2B03, how is an interlaced scanning pattern generated in a fast scan in TSC television system? The answer is by scanning odd numbered lines in one field and even numbered lines in the next. E2B04, how is color information sent in analog SSTV? Color lines are sent sequentially. E2B05, which of the following describes the use of Vestigial sideband and analog fast scan television transmissions. Vestigial sideband reduces bandwidth, allowing 
for simple video detector circuitry. E2B06, what is vestigial sideband modulation? Amplitude modulation in which one complete sideband and a portion of the other are transmitted. E2B07, what is the name of the signal component that carries color information in NTSC video? It's called chroma. ET or E2B08, what technique allows commercial analog TV receivers to be used for fast scan TV operations on the 70 meter band? Answer is transmitting on channels shared with cable TV. E2B09, what hardware other than a receiver with SSB capability and suitable computer is needed to decode SSTV using digital radio Mondial? Answer is no other hardware is needed. E2B10, what aspect of an analog slow scan television signal encodes the brightness of the picture? Answer is tone frequency. E2B11, what is the function of vertical interval signaling code sent as part of an SSTV transmission? The answer is to identify the SSTV mode being used. E2B12, what signals SSTV receiving software to begin a new picture line? The answer is specific tone frequencies. E to see operating methods, contest and DX operating, remote operation techniques, Cabrillo format, QSLE, RF network connected systems. E2C01 says what indicator is required to be used by U.S. licensed operators when operating a station via remote control and the remote transmitter is located in the U.S.? Answer is D. No additional indicator is required. E2C03, which of the following bands is amateur radio contesting generally excluded? Answer is 30 meters. No contesting on 30 meters typically. E2C04, which of the following frequencies are sometimes used for amateur radio mesh networks? Answer is frequency shared with various unlicensed wireless data services. E2C05, what is the function of a DX QSL manager? And that person to handle the receiving and sending of confirmation cards for a DX station. E2C06, during a VHF UHF contest, in which band segment would you expect to find the highest level of SSB or CW activity? In the weak signal segment of the band, with most of the activity near the calling frequency. E2C07, what is the Cabrillo format? This is a standard for submission of electronic contest logs. E2C08, which of the following contexts may be confirmed through the US QSL Bureau system? Contacts between US station and a non-US station is the correct answer. E2C09, which of the following type of equipment is commonly used to implement an amateur radio mesh network? Answer is a wireless router running custom firmware. E2C10, why might a DX station state that they are listening on another frequency? And all of these choices are correct, which means because the DX station may be transmitting on a frequency that is prohibited to some responding stations, they are also separating the calling station from the DX station, or to improve operating efficiency by reducing interference. E2C11, how should you generally identify your station when attempting to contact a DX station during a contest or in a pileup? And the answer is send your full call sign once or twice. E2C12, what technique do individual nodes use to form a mesh network? The answer is discovery and link establishment protocols. Going on, E2D, operating methods, VHF and UHF digital Modes and Procedures, APRS, EME Procedures, Meteor Scatter Procedures. E2D01, which of the following digital modes is designated for Meteor Scatter Communications? Answer is MSK144. E2D02, which of the following is a good technique for making Meteor scour, Scatter Contacts?
answer is all of these choices are correct, which is a 15 second time transmission sequences with stations alternating based on location, use of special digital modes, and short transmissions with rapidly repeated call signs and signal reports. E2D03, which of the following digital modes is especially useful for EME communications? It is JT65. E2D04, what technology is used to track in real time balloons carrying amateur radio transmitters? Answer is APRS. E2D05, what is one advantage of the JT65 mode? The ability to decode signals which have a very low signal to noise ratio. E2D06, which of the following describes a method of establishing EME contacts? Answer is time synchronous transmissions alternately from each station. E2D07, what digital protocol is used by APRS? Answer is AX.25. E2D08, what type of packet frame is used to transmit APRS beacon data? Answer is unnumbered information. Unnumbered information. E2D09, what type of modulation is used for JT65 contacts? Answer is Multitone AFSK. E2D10, how can an APRS station be used to help support a public service communications activity? Answer is an APRS station with a global positioning system unit can automatically transmit information to show a mobile station's position during the event. E2D11, which of the following data are used by the APRS network to communicate station location? Answer is latitude and longitude. E2E, operating methods, operating HF digital modes. E2E01, which of the following modes of modulation is common for data emissions below 30 megahertz? Answer is FSK. E2E02, which, what do the letters FEC mean as they relate to digital operation? Answer is forward error correction. E2, E03, how is the timing of FT4 contacts organized? Answer is alternating transmissions at 7.5 second intervals, 7.5 second intervals. E204, what is indicated when one of the eclipses of an FSK cross eclipse display suddenly disappears? And that is selective fading has occurred. E2, E05, which of these digital modes does not support keyboard-to-keyboard -keyboard operation? Answer is Pactor, Pactor. E2, A06, what is the most common data rate used for HF packet? Answer is 300 baud, 300. E2, E07, which of the following is a possible reason that attempts to initiate contact with a digital station on a clear frequency are unsuccessful? All of these choices are correct, which means your transmit frequency is incorrect. The protocol version you're using is not supported by the digital station, or another station you're unable to hear is using the frequency. E2E08, which of the following HF digital modes can be used to transfer binary files? Answer is Pactor. E2E09, which of the following HF digital modes uses variable length coding for bandwidth efficiency? Answer is PSK31, E2E10, which of these digital modes has the narrowest bandwidth? Answer is PSK31. E2E11, what is the difference between direct FSK and audio FSK? Answer is direct FSK applies the digital signal to the transmitter VFO, while AFSK transmits tones via phone. E2E12, how do ALE stations establish contact? ALE constantly scans a list of frequencies activating the radio when the designated call sign is received. E2, E13, which of these digital modes has the fastest data throughput under clear communications conditions? Answer is 300 baud packet. All right, and that will conclude sub-element 2 videos. Stay tuned and we will have sub-element 3 released shortly. Thank you for joining us. Don't forget to like our Clay County Area Amateur Radio Club YouTube page.